Hey, it's Carol from Carol's Creative Corner. How are you doing? I thought I would just pop in and show you some beautiful cards I got in a card swap. It features a lot of items from the holiday catalog or the August to December mini catalog, as it's formally called. And uh, I was going through them and I had just received the retired list. Uh, the closeout sale begins on December 8th. So some of these cards that are just beautiful, some of the items are retiring. So I wanted to show you these cards just for the techniques and the ideas, but uh, also I'll, I'll point out when I can which of these cards are gonna be retiring in case it's been on your want list. Mark your calendar for December 8th uh, to put your uh, order in for these sets or the dies or whatever products that are actually going to be retiring. So I am going to now uh, attempt to flip over the camera. I'm doing this the old-fashioned way. My Zoom would not allow me to do it live on Facebook. I don't get that, uh, but I'll have to investigate that. But without further ado, let me flip the cam uh, camera over and I'll show you these cards. Here we go. Okay, how's that? Uh, hopefully it's okay and you're online. And uh, let me just have you look at a card while I, um, I wanted to make sure that I could see everything on online. So let me see if I can get there and see. Uh, this is a little experiment, so bear with me for a second. Let's see, Carol's Creative Corner. I can't see my live post yet. So, not sure how that's gonna work. So, I'm gonna keep moving forward. Okay, so here's our first card. Uh, this one was done by Susan Camfield. And uh, this is using our quite curvy dies. Now that was an early release product. And so that will be in the January to June catalog that'll be coming out shortly um, but it was early released and you can order this beautiful curved uh, set and um, this I think it's called wonderful wonder wonder something and this is where the reindeer come he, this one will be retiring uh, but this card is great because it is a mini uh, like an easy shaker card so um, this is a card I'll be doing in my coming class in January. So if you're interested in learning this technique, I will be featuring it in my next class. Isn't that fun? Very easy, and the card opens up like that. This is also from the uh, Quite Curvy stamp set. Actually, this is from the Christmas one. Uh, there's a, a Curvy set and then a Christmas Curvy set. And the Christmas Curvy is only available through the, uh, till January 4th or while supplies last. So um, if you like this set, then you should go ahead and um, uh, get at least the Christmas set to match the curvy piece. Hey, Tracy Brown, thank you for watching. Uh, I'm just getting started on showing these great samples. Um, here is the next swap card that I received. This is uh, done with the Pines dies and in the Pines uh, set and this card was done by Patricia Stewart. Beautiful card. Love the blues and the reds together. Uh, the next one, this is, I have to say, my all time favorite uh, set from the holiday catalog. I know I shouldn't be biased, but I love flowers, so I'm going to be biased on that. And this is the pretty poinsettias. Uh, this one is carrying over. Uh, what I mean by carrying over means that it is going to hibernate after this catalog um, ends, which is January 4th, it will go into hibernation and it will reappear in next year's holiday catalog. So this beautiful card uh, is, um, is made with the pretty poinsettias. It's made with the paper. Now the paper will not carry over, but the dies and the stamp set will. Uh, this uh, saying is from the Itty Bitty Christmas, which is one of my favorites. Hey, Sharon. Thanks for commenting and thanks for being here today. Now this card is really fun. It's a fun fold and it's pretty easy to do and I'll feature a card like this on my website so you'll know exactly how to make it. But this beautiful card was created by Kelly Burkhart and then she used the, the uh, gold gems on her card. 
So um, I'm going to show you a few more poinsettias because I want to show you all the different things that you can do with it. Uh, here is uh, this particular one, if I can get the camera right on this. They actually stamped uh, in red the uh, poinsettia with the stamp set, then die cut it. And when they die cut it, uh, oh, it looks like she just scored the lines in half. There's actually an embossing die that you can put through with the poinsettia dies, it gives it an embossed look as well. So uh, this card is just gorgeous. Love the plaid builder set uh, paired with this. She used the black. Uh, it's a it's a two die set. Uh, it comes with a little grid. I don't know if you can see the little grid lines, but she did one grid in red, one grid in green, and then this black, which I think is just stunning. And this card was done by Colette Thiesenwitz. Beautiful card. And now here's another lovely card using the poinsettias. They use the stamp set and they embossed the uh, poinsettias on crumb cake. And that was a beautiful idea. Love this, the colors in this card. This one, this card was done oh, by Jenny. I know Jenny, Jenny Rayner. She didn't have her last name there, but I think it's like Rayner. Uh, so anyway, and she also did some embossing on that. So there's a lot of work in that card. Love the berries, love the leaves from the poinsettia set. So that was another card. Thank you, Jenny, for that beautiful swap card. Now this one is called uh, Hoot. Owl hoot or something like that. Um, but this one is just an adorable easel card. The little ornament keeps it standing up. Isn't that cute? So this little owl guy is going to be retiring. Um, so uh, put that on your list if you like that one. This one was done by Kathy Strange. Isn't that pretty? And I love the paper with this and the color combination. Really nice job, Kathy. All right, uh, next card I have to show you is uh, Freeze and Fun. This is the li cute little rabbit with the tree. And then it's also got our sequenced, uh, our sequenced snowflakes. And I love the snowflake that's called Snowflake Splendor DSP. Of course, you know, usually for every catalog, the papers do retire. And so this paper will be going away, but it is absolutely one of my favorites. And uh, I'll show you a card that we did in our class with this paper. Uh, this is also using that same fun fold. Isn't that cute? It, life is better when we're having fun together. So that's really cute. I should tell you that this swap was done with... Um, all the people in my upline. And so we had all learned this fun fold technique. And so that's why you're seeing a couple cards with this technique, but it's just cute and can be used with any stamp set. So uh, here is uh, the envelope that was made with this card. They just put the, the designer series paper on the envelope flap. So such a cute pair. And that was done by Cynthia Howard. Isn't that cute? Okay, now using those same colors, uh, this is the gnome set from the holiday catalog. And this set, this little guy, and all his cuteness will be retiring at the end of this catalog. Um, oh, and I should tell you that on December 8th, many of these products that are retiring are going to be um, at a discount. So uh, hopefully if you're on my email list, I can send you the list of things that are retiring so you can plan ahead for what you you want to order on December 8th. But isn't it cute? And again, with that purple and the blue together, love that color combination. Holly jolly everything. That's a saying from the set. And this card was made by, oh, didn't get a name, got an address, but I don't have a name to that. Uh, unfortunately, I can't give her credit, but it's such a cute card. Okay. Hey, Nancy Reynolds. I hope you're still watching. Glad to see you here. And uh, Anna Sandoval, thank you for joining. Uh, nice to see you. I'm just going through some swap cards that I received. Now, this is cute. It's adorable with the red and the white uh, and with the candy kings. Very adorable. This one is the Sweetest Borders Dies. And that is also be retiring. And I happen to know, because I was interested in this one, is also going to be uh, on sale. So um, that is uh, also a cute card. And look how that was die cut on the side. And then the, with the white layer, you get the white contrast. So isn't that cute? This set is, this card was made by Marcy Farrell. 
Adorable. Thank you for that card, Marcy. It's gorgeous. All right. And here is our next card. Love this color combination. This is the Brightly Gleaming Ornaments. It's a punch and, and then, of course, the stamp set. Uh, this, this was popular and was a returning item in the holiday catalog this year, but will be officially retiring at the end of the year. So, but look at that beautiful um, work on the ombre kind of look, along with using this die from the Stitch Stars. Isn't that nice? So that is that card is made by Noreen Mann. Thank you, Noreen, for that great card. All right, so here is another card using the dove. This is the first card I've had with the dove. Love the beautiful wings on the dove, and they use the Christmas Gleaming Designer Series paper. What a beautiful card. Love how they sort of patchworked it, and look at this fun fold. It's like a little bit of a shadow box. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so that is was done by Charlene uh, Ido. I don't know how to say that, Ido. And uh, I just met, met her, and she's really nice. She's out in California. So isn't that a nice card? Thank you, Charlene. Okay, next card I have up is the Snow Wonder Snowman. It's kind of like an old-fashioned snowman. I love this scene. It uh, looks like he's right out there with the trees. And uh, this particular set is also retiring. So these beautiful, this beautiful sentiment and... Um, no, actually, I'm sorry. He's actually carrying over along with the dies. So that's good news. He's going to be around for a little while. He, she. Uh, it looks like kind of a guy's hat, but... It can be a sheet, too. That was done by Barb Larson. And I love the way she just tore her paper and embossed the paper to make it look a little textured using our textured embossing folder. And what a nice job that was. Thank you, Barb. All right. Next. Next, we have um, a card that was done by N. Mahler. So I can't, I won't guess the name. Maybe it was Nancy, but anyway, she's using our perfectly plaid card and it's, it's a fun fold as well. See how that folds. She put, um, it's like a Z fold, if you will. And yet it covers, covers, uh, the full front, but opens up. You could even make that into an easel card if you had a, something standing there. Isn't that cute with all the different color trees, different patterns? That was that was an easy. It's because it's a punch. You don't have to die cut that and just punch different color papers um, to make a cute Christmas card. Okay, now the, some of these cards, the ones I've got here are from actually from the annual catalog. I think this is Zany Zebras, and this is a fun fold as well. See how that opens up? Isn't that cute? And that it was done by Robin Walston, and so I like how she paired all the designer series paper. I think it's playful something or other. I have I don't have that one particular, but I like having a card with that. This was one of my favorite sets is the Whale Done set. And so paired some of the papers. Look how creatively she used the papers, used some of our gems, and hoping all your birthday fishes come true. Just kind of a cute saying. And that was done by Corey Hansen. And this card, this is one of our cards, is from the annual catalog. This is our postage stamp card, just placing four of them and then using this fun fold to display them. Actually, I have to tell you, this fold is one of my favorites. I use it all the time when I'm uh, wanting to highlight a small stamp or I just have a single image. It's a great way to showcase your stamped image. And this card was done by Kelly Burkhart. All right, uh, so here now we have another card. Look at this fun fold. Looks like a little shirt with a little corsage on it and pearls, just adorable. This paper uh, is from our Boho Indigo stamps. Uh, it's a product kit, if you will, and so that you can only get with the kit and as well as the flowers and the little beads that all comes in the kit. But isn't that creative? A bunch of birthday love to you. What a sweet card and design. And that is from Mary Kylie. Thank you, Mary, for this great idea. I have not done a card like that yet. Ooh, and then next, we have some cards featured from the upcoming catalog. And you probably have seen samples already, but this was a beautiful card done with the uh, Dragonfly Garden set. 
that was done by Rose Carey. Uh, so this is a new product, the new Mossy Meadow uh, linen thread, and then the Dragonfly um, garden set, which comes with the stems of wild flowers. And then can you see the little ladybug there? Isn't that sweet? So what a great combination. And these, uh, these, these are is almost like a sampler of some of the papers that go to match that paper. they are six by six papers that match that. So what a beautiful card, a lot of work for that card. Thank you so much, Rose, for that beautiful card. Now this set is, uh, everybody who went to on stage got this set in their packet if they ordered the, the packet. It's called Enjoy the Moment and it is uh, a lot of wildflower or uh, related items. I really thought this was a nice way to put that together. Enjoy the Moment and this was done by Amanda Martin. So isn't that cute if you like the wildflowers? Here's another great example. I love this piece. Uh, that goes with that same set, Enjoy the Moment, and it's a happy birthday card, and look at that interesting card layout with the banners, love that. And this card was done by Terry Phelps, uh, one of our fellow, my fellow uh, demonstrators in my um, upline. Isn't that cute? Really sweet. Thank you, Terry, for that card. So those were the swaps. I was really glad I participated. We have a great, talented team. Um, I was just going to share with you a couple more cards. These are the cards that were featured in my holiday class that I just finished today. Um, this is a snowman season set, and he's in the annual catalog. So if he's going to retire, we won't know about that till next July. But um, it does use uh, puff paint to create the snowballs. And, um, and then, of course, our adhesive back. Uh, snowflakes. Aren't they beautiful? I love how they're like a little iridescent and they kind of pick up the colors of your card. So, and I love the iridescent ribbon. So this was one of the cards that we made and hoping the season builds heartwarming memories is a saying from the snowman season set. And I love this color combination. So I'm going to be ordering some of this um, uh, Splendor it says he's, I think it's called Snow Splendor uh, Designer Series Paper with the purple and the blue because it's so pretty together. Hey, Karen. Hey, Karen Wood. Thank you for joining. Nice to have you here. Okay, here is uh, the poinsettia card that we made in the holiday class today. So love this. This particular one is a card that is actually embossed. I don't know if you can tell, but I use the embossing die and the outline die when I when we cut the flowers and uh, gives it a real nice 3D look. And then we did shape them just a little bit to look 3D. And of course we put Winkastella all over it to make it glitter. And, and so this is the card we made. And again, um, here are the uh, curvy dies uh, that we paired with that as well as this flocked um, paper which I think is probably retiring because most of the paper does. So that is another one I'm going to stock up on before it's gone. So this saying comes from thinking of you at Christmas. May your days be merry and bright. Merry Christmas. This is from the quite curvy Christmas set that is only available through the end of the year. So if you like the quite curvy set and you want it to be used at Christmas time, um, it would be good to get that ordered this month before, before it runs out. So here is the last card that we made at the holiday class, and this is the Merry Moose. And unfortunately, the Merry Moose is going to retire. Can't believe it because I've just, you know, used this set a little bit more this year, and I've absolutely fallen in love with the details from the set. Like it has these little footprints that you can, that makes it look like he's walking in the snow, which I love. And of course, the accent with the scarf, I did have to fussy cut that, but the scarf goes beautifully on him. And then, of course, the set comes with this little raccoon. Isn't he sweet? And the hat is separate, so you he could wear a hat or not, depending on your season. And, of course, this is a Christmas card, so um, I thought it looked so cute. It's the most cutest hat. <laughs> Go on any of your other stamps. So really love this card. It just reminds me of Minnesota with all the trees and, of course, the buffalo checked. This particular uh, tree, the red one, was stamped with our buffalo checked uh, background stamp and um, and then cut out with the dies. So these are our um, pine dies 
And this one I had to improvise because I didn't have, I borrowed the pine dies. And now, of course, I ordered them because once you use them, you love them. So this was the original card. And I had to make a few more <laughs> for the class. Got a couple more people who want to do the class. And I didn't have the pine dies, so I improvised. This is the Rooted in Nature die. And this is from In the Woods die. So, I mean, it just goes to show you can use different textures, different papers on this card, and still get the same effect. The idea is just getting four different textures, one being the red to really help stand out, and then um, just lining them up. I do have one a little taller than the other to kind of give it a little dimension. Uh, it's using, I don't know if you can tell in here, it's using our shimmery white uh, paper, so it gives the snow a little bit of glitter. But um, <clears throat> a lot of folks in my class, I recommended they had the Wink Estella pen, and then they could just go to town and they could add more uh, glitter wherever they wanted on any of their cards. And so I love using Wink Estella, especially in the wintertime, to have everything glisten up. So, so that's what I had to show you today. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that sampler. I'm going to switch this around so you can see me. And uh, I really hope that you enjoy that. And um, just a reminder, let's see, I, December 8th is the start of the closeout sale. So many of the retired items uh, may be at a discount. You'll have to look at the list. Uh, if you go to my website, you will find the list. Um, if you want to email me, I'll also email you the list. So, uh, and then just know my calendar in January looks empty, but that's really not... Um, it's really, I've got a lot planned for January. I'm just waiting on some dates to be able to put the dates in there. So I plan to have a class and, you know, I usually have a technique class. Um, so the, the class is usually three cards, three each. And so we'll feature a lot of the new products from the spring catalog. And then the technique class is usually three cards and you learn a new technique with that. And, um, the exciting news is my upline and Ray, uh, Susan Campfield and Rachel Tessman always host a demos galore. So that is um, usually on a weekend, and it's like uh, there are demonstrations of each of the new product suites and what you can do with them and lots of new samples and examples, and there's a make and take, and then there's prizes, and it's really fun. So if you volunteer to be a demonstrator, I get to invite all my customers. So I'm excited that if you're watching, you're one of my customers, I get to invite you, and you get to spend the day virtually, right, uh, watching and seeing what we do with all the new products and how much fun we have. So I uh, hope you can join me, and uh, hey, thanks so much for watching, everyone. Really appreciate it. Uh, go ahead and like or comment. That really helps me out, and uh, I hope to see you again soon. Thank you so much. Bye.